Yo, what is up guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how you can make that amazing zoom in build up with the pre-shake into it. So, uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, make sure that you do have your velocity already set for yourself. Uh, I'm not going to show the velocity that I use in this video, but I do have a tutorial on it literally like a couple of videos ago. Maybe the last video that I made was a velocity tutorial, so make sure to go check it out. Link will be in the description. And uh, what you're going to want to do is go onto the first speed point that you added. So on the left hand side, the first speed point that you see, you're going to want to split it with, uh, actually no, don't split it, don't split it. Go into the effects tab. So make sure that your playback head is over top of the first speed point that you see on the left hand side, which is this one right here for me. So you can see this is it right here. And uh, add an adjustment clip over top of it so it faces to the right. And then trim the adjustment clip on the kill, basically where you have the marker on the kill. So it should just be like this little portion before the kill and like where it starts on the speed point. And now that we're done with that, let's go into the fusion tab and make sure that your playback head was actually over the adjustment clip. Uh, this is the adjustment clip right here. Make sure that you're like in it, go into the fusion tab and make sure that you're on the first frame. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do now is add S underscore blur mode curves and uh, just connect it to these two. And uh, make this uh, keyframe the center x and center y and the z distance go to around two thirds through of this so that would be around like right here and uh, i'm gonna put the z distance to like 0.7 and uh, yeah that should be good and i'm gonna make the center x i'm just gonna adjust the center x so like it fits a bit better uh, it's like where the character is gonna be so I'd say like 0.6 should be good. And then go to the end and then keyframe everything back to how it was. So I'm gonna put the center X to 0.5 and the Z distance to one. So it should look good. And it should look like this. And uh, I'm actually gonna remove like the keyframing center X on this, uh, on like this part because for some clips it won't be necessary. It's just for the clips that like the opposing character is like on a side left left side or right side so I'm just gonna unkeyframe it because it actually makes it look worse and uh, what you're gonna want to do now is that we're not done yet go back obviously into the fusion tab where you see the s underscore blur mode curves and uh, right here uh, what you're gonna want to do is click on spline up here it should be on the right hand side like on the top part click on it and then check s underscore blur mode curves and uh, right here uh, just uncheck uh, center path and just displacement and make sure uh, z distance is checked again so uh, check the z distance and uncheck these so now you've done that you should see uh like a graph like this it should just be like a little triangle facing upside down and uh, how i did find this was i just clicked this right here this button right here next to like the search tool and all you're going to do from here is uh just make sure that you've selected everything like so and now that you see like three green sections all you're going to want to do is, now that you've seen the green sections highlighted, click S on your keyboard. This will be super important. It makes the zoom in build up more exponential, which makes it basically more smooth. And it does look really nice from here. And uh, it will lag, but I'm just going to make sure that it renders out. I'm going to make my uh, render cache smart and my render cache. I'm going to click render cache color output on the adjustment clip. So it should work or look good. And it will lag and uh, I'll just trim to the part where uh, everything looks smooth. Alright, so now you guys have actually, or for me, has fully rendered out. As you can see, the adjustment clip uh, is, there's like a blue bar over top of everything, which means everything is rendered. And a smooth playback, so you can see it should look like this. And it's a really nice smooth in, or zoom in build up. And what you're going to do now is drag another adjustment clip uh, over top of the first adjustment clip that you added. And uh, from here, just make sure that it is exactly the same as the second or as the first adjustment clip that I had. It's just uh, on a different like part of the of the timeline, and it should just be over top of it, perfectly over top, not too big, not too small. And from here, make sure that you are on the second adjustment clip that you've added, like the one you just had right now. Go into the fusion tab, and uh, from here, unclick off the spline, and uh, I'm gonna go go get a pre shake and uh, I'll make I'll make sure to drop the preset in the description. All right, so now that I've actually added my uh, my 
uh, S underscore shake. Again, you'll need the Sapphire plugin, so if you don't have those, make sure to go pick them up. And uh, what we're going to do is on the first frame, right here, uh, on this little bar right here, on the first part, make sure that the amplitude is keyframe at zero, and go to the end and make it 0.12. That should be nice. And as you can see right here, uh, it will obviously lag a lot since it's uh, Sapphire plugins. And uh, it should look nice. And now I'm just going to add an impact that I have. So, uh, yeah, this is honestly in my edit pack uh, from like that I released a couple months ago. It's the preset pack that I added. So I'm just going to add uh, this one. It's decent. Uh, it should look like that. And yeah, that should be the, for the tutorial. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like. Obviously, subscribe like always. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.